Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x and y in this nice system of equation? From here, let's divide this as equation one and this as equation two. And from equation one, we have root x plus root y equals to ten. And here, let's raise both sides to power two. So let's square both sides here. And also square this side. The expansion here from here give us root x square plus two times root x times root y then plus root y square then equals to ten square here ten 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 that's hundred. Then from here. We have this square cancel square root, also square cancel square root here. Then we can take x plus y together, so we have x plus y now. Then plus bring this together under the same roots, and this will be two root x y, which is equals to hundred from here. Then in the next step, we can substitute root x y from there. From equation 2, given root xy to be equal to 10. So that means here now we are going to have 10 here. So we have x plus y plus 2 times 10 equals to 100. And from here, that's x plus y plus 20 equals to 100. And taking 20 here become minus. 100 minus 20 that's 80 so we have x plus y equals to 80 from here and let's divide this one as equation 3 and also from equation 2 what we have there which is root x y equals to 10 from here as well let's square both sides and then square we cancel square roots here we have x y now equals to 10 square 10 10 10 that's 100 then from here we can divide both side by x in order to make y the subject so that x cancel out here and y will now be equal to 100 over x then from here Let's substitute this equation. Let's divide it as equation 4 here. So substitute equation 4 back in equation 3. That is from equation 3 what we have which is x plus y equals to 80. Then from equation 4 y is now 100 over x. So we put 100 over x here now. So that will be x plus 100 over x now equals to 80 then it is over 1 then from here we have x at the same here so we can clear the fraction and multiply through by x when we multiply through by x this times x that's x squared then plus 100 over x times x that's 100 equals to 80 times x that's 80x then we can take 80x to this side and use it to form a quadratic equation and we have x square minus 80x plus 100 now equals to 0 then from here we use the quadratic formula to solve this particular equation which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and in this case a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 80 and c equals to 100 so from here x will then be equal to minus minus 80 plus or minus square root of minus 80 square then minus 4 times 1 
times 100 then over 2 times 1 and here this becomes x equals to 80 now then plus or minus square root of minus 80 square divorce 6400 from there then minus here we have 400 then over 2 so here we have x now to be equals to 80 plus or minus square root of 6000 here then over 2 from here and 6000 here we can write it as 415 so we have x equals to 80 plus or minus square root of 400 multiplied by 15 then over 2 then from here we have root 400 same thing as 20 so this is x equals to 80 plus or minus 20 root 15 from here then over 2 and when we separate this and we divide each of this by 2 so x here will now be equals to 40 left here then plus or minus 10 then root 15 and from here we have the value of x then using our equation 3 from there we have y now to be equals to 80 minus x so then to find the value of y then we now have y to be equals to 80 minus into bracket 40 plus or minus 10 root 15 and from here minus open bracket we have y now to be equals to 80 minus 40 then this turn to minus and this turn to plus then 10 root 15 and this same thing as y equals to 80 minus 40 that's 40 then minus plus 10 root 15 so we have the set of solution we have here the first one x1 comma y1 here we then become from the first you know here x1 same thing as 40 plus 10 root 15 and comma y1 here is 40 minus 10 root 15 so that's the first set of solution then the second we have x2 comma y2 from here this becomes here from here we have 40 that is the second value of x there that's 40 minus 10 root 15 then we have y2 that's 40 plus 10 root 15 and here we have these two sets of solutions in this given problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell share this video and give it a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section see you next class and bye for now